Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2. Alright, so, uh, let me get you up to speed. I decided I wanted to kind of play, ar play along with this Dengler guy, um, to see if, you know, maybe gaining his trust, I'd get more information, um, and I would be able to go back to Dante and say, hey, look, they're trying to screw you over, or what have you. I'm not 100% sure whether or not that's going to work, but in any case, so far, I haven't had to do anything too bad. Um... The first thing he had me do was go over and talk to that lady, Jess, the one that was over by Virgil. Uh, they wanted her to plant um, agave. Uh, and obviously, she didn't want to do that. And that was the issue. But I convinced her to do it with a uh, kiss-ass check. And then uh, I had to pay uh, 40 Well, you don't have to, but I just I basically paid her, her debt of uh, 40 bullets to Dangler here. Which was somewhat funny, because he's like, don't say I don't share the wealth, and then he gave me like five bullets back of, you know, technically what I paid, right? Thinking it was from her. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now he's saying um, that he wants me to deal with the mayor's son. Um, so he thanked us for helping out with the, the synth fight, and then now he's talking about the mayor's son. So you're capable of following simple instructions. Good. We'll try something a little more challenging this time. You know the mayor's son, Chris? No, not, not, not really, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, he holds uh, the recipe to his family's famous tequila in two places in his head and in his safe deposit box. I'm tired of dealing with the lazy oaf and his tiresome demands. I want the recipe for my own. Get it and you'll prove yourself worthy of more important jobs. Oh, yeah? It just forced the bank to open the box? Combinations on the boxes are only known to bank holders. Oh, okay. Think we'd have to tear the box out of the wall, cut it open with a welding torch. Okay. Hmm. I want you to bring me the combination. Okay. Huh. Alright. Any cat litter? Yeah, yeah. Nope. Alright, goodbye. So, alright. Nope, don't lock them in yet. Not ready to kill them. Oh, we have a bunch of promotions. Okay. Let's call those in. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Santa Fe base, over. Echo 1, looks like congratulations, Echo. Thank you, Woodson. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Skills. Okay, I definitely don't want to mess with those right now. No. No, I don't. Not on her, anyway. Okay, let's see. Joran. No, we're going to be going for that. Chiselle. AKA Ralphie 2.0. More blunt weapons? Sure. Sounds good. Alright. So, this guy is in charge of. This guy's in charge of the making the tequila then, then he's probably in this distillery. Yep, that's my guess. And who doesn't put a safe, you know, just like out in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> okay. I was just running around to see if there was another entrance, but yeah, that's fine. A safe works too. Should I put my other trinket on? I guess I should. I'm glad that I have these trinkets, you know, because then it makes the skill checks easy. But then I'm, I also don't like the fact that I have to use the trinkets because my memory's so horrible. Okay, now that that was that, that didn't make any sense. What's going on there? All right, well, <laughs> so much for that. Let's see. Let, let's see if I can do lock picking successfully then, or safe cracking. Uh, grab that. 
that. And nope, that's closed off. All right. I wanted to look in the distillery too to see if I could find parts to repair the the tower here. That guy Virgil can do it if you can um, convince Dante to go back to him, but I haven't been able to do that yet. So really locked, huh? All right. There we go. Don't mind if we do. Okay. I uh, usually a huge fiercely bearded and dressed head to toe in leather, except for gaunt. A jaunty uh, Greek fisherman's cap perched on his shaven head. This leather trick looks like the villain of old-fashioned cartoon. Peter the Hairy Greek. <laughs> halt, who goes there? Hey, man. You're allowed in here. Dingle Jordan's. We're working for him. Oh, so you're the ones. Well, you should, you still shouldn't be in here, but if you want to look around before you go, go ahead. Just keep your hands off the tequila. This chili also bottles distilled water. I drink that. Uh-huh. Oh. Is that so? Oh, you probably could have. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm, I get it. So this is another one of like the big henchmen guys. How much do you want to bet we could have given him some bad water? I bet you. Yeah. Like we could have done... Yeah, received an empty bottle. How much do you want to bet you could have gone to the well, gotten the bad water, you know, before we cured it, and given it to that guy. And I would have taken him out of the big fight. You know, because at some point, we're going to have a big fight, right? <laughs> These leather jerks aren't just going to leave. Mal, Mal, I'll, I'll be on, I'll be on part, uh, 165 of Wasteland 2 and I'll finally fight the leather jerks. No, no, no. I'm gonna fight them soon. Matter of fact, I may even fight them this episode because I'm tired of messing with them. I was just trying, I was just trying to see if there was a way, uh, you know, for me to, I mean, obviously there is a way, but I was trying to, uh, you know, Get Virgil to fix the radio? That would be nice. Here's his notebook. Mutant kangaroo paw. Plus two outdoorsman. Hey, that's pretty nice, actually. Sewer key. Uh, I can already get into the sewers, but okay. Here's his notebook. Okay, what's Chris's notebook? What's the significance there? You found Chris's notebook and make you take clues on how to obtain the secret tequila recipe. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, okay, well no, uh, well-worn notebook, Chris Van Grass, written on the cover, but otherwise blank. Strangely, however, the corners of pages 2, 3, 6, 9 have been folded over. I she want to bet that's his code. No, there's no way that's it. Sneaky bastard. All right, we'll leave this on her. Why are you so overloaded? What are you carrying so dang heavy? I mean, you're carrying a lot of miscellaneous junk, I guess. Oh, these hard-boiled eggs weigh 10 pounds. That's not that helpful, is it? And this extra gun that you're never going to use that we should just break down. Yeah, small scope. Lame. Lame. Oh, here's the guy himself. Hi. Actually, before I talk to him, where are my skills at? 
Heart has eight, kiss has eight. Oh, without even putting that on? Oh, all right. Should be good enough. So, yeah, sitting on the bed with his arm around a leathery jerkette is a punchy young man who bears a striking re resemblance to Mayor Van Graz. He looks at you with bloodshot eyes. Who the F are you? I'm busy here. Uh, let's see. We're the Desert Rangers. We're here to rescue you. Rescue me? Who says I want to be rescued? I run this place. Your father asked us to save you. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I hope he rots in that cage. He's got no vision. I'm going to run this. Isn't Dangler running the town? He is now, but that's going to change. In fact, how would you effers like to get in on the effing ground floor? Wow, okay. What pie would this be? What do you want us to do? Getting rid of all of our crops and... Okay. My father, neither of the... Okay, take me seriously. You take out my dad. Dingler and Big and Pedax. Okay. I'll pay you. More scrap than you've ever seen in your life. Uh, no. What's the recipe? How oh, secures that box? Ah, this guy, man. I'd like to just shoot him. <laughs> I really would. Alright, let's see. Now, did that change anything? Did we get a, an update? Let's go back and see if that triggers something different with uh, with uh, Dingler, telling him that this that Chris wants to do that. Now we can break into um, the safe, but I don't think we need to. I mean, I think we can just give this guy the code, right? Don't come back until you get it. Oh, okay. So I guess we have to go get it. All right. Well, I kind of wanted to break into the bank. The only thing is I don't have alarm disarm. So yeah, there's that. So the alarm's going to go off. I don't know. That could be a little tricky. I mean, I have the sewer key and all that, but that doesn't help me once I get in there. Hmm. Hold on. Let's take a look here. Maybe I could just talk my way in? I mean... I know the way it's laid out, it's like, you're supposed to... Hold on. Where the heck is that? I know I had it. Who the heck was carrying that? I'm losing my mind. Yes, I am. Oh, there we go. Chris's notebook. All right. So, 2369. Hmm. All right, let's go over to the bank and just see if there's any way we can access that without having to, you know, blow open the safe or crack open the safe. I doubt it, but... We can try. Actually, let's go back and talk to Dante first. See if there's any developments there. Come on. We have a big group like this, sometimes initiating. Ah, uh, no, he wants us to bring Beatrice to that shed. No, I, I don't want to do that. I want to convince him that she's not somebody he needs to be saving. 
Let's see. How do I do this? Where's the bank? Is that over here? I can't remember where the hell the bank is. Uh, no, that's the casino. Huh. Uh, I need the bank. Where are you? Are you the bank? Oh, man. Ridiculous levels of noise outside where I live right now. You know what? I'm gonna cut the video, I'll be back with you in just a sec. Alright, I'm back, and since I made a cut in the video, I went ahead and ran over here to the, the sewer line, which leads to the bank, which is up here in the crater. I'm gonna go ahead and rob the bank, uh, because I don't, I mean, I don't really care. Um, I mean, I know that I don't have alarm to serve, but I don't necessarily care if the bank guards get pissed at me, because... And maybe they won't. Maybe the alarm won't go off. We'll see. But um, my thought process is that Gecko and those guys are not... I mean, they're not exactly good guys anyway. They've been bleeding the town dry, too. So that's kind of how I'm rationalizing it. So maybe you agree with me and maybe you don't. But it should make things interesting. Now, I think the way this would work, uh, ideally, is if you actually did have alarm disarm skill. So you could disarm the alarm and then go in here and not have to worry about the bank guards. But my guess is that if I can pop this door open, which I may or may not be able to even do, uh, that's probably going to be bad. Now, the gamble I'm taking is, okay, if I open this door and flag these guys hostile, I wonder if the teller will fight too. I don't really want to kill her. Now, Gecko here I wouldn't mind killing. I don't have any problem killing him. Anyway, if they do flag hostile, and if they can come in these doors, which I'm guessing they can, uh, then that's one thing. But I don't want to be flagged hostile to the leather jerks. Now, we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, I have to fight the leather jerks at some point anyway, but I was really trying to sort of play this out to see whether or not I could, you know get closer to Dingler, and I mean, I have no idea if it's that complex or not, but I was kind of hoping that if I got closer to Dingler, then maybe I could convince Dante that Beatrice um, is just a gold digger and all that, but uh, anyway, we'll see. But I'm going to prepare, like I'm going to be going into a fight, just in case, just in case. Okay, I need to... What's my chance to safe crack that? 80% with the trinket on. Right. Well, I kind of need that on, then. So that's with a safe cracking of 9. Wow, that's a... That, yeah, I mean, it does look like a serious safe, right? Okay, let's take a look here. Let's make sure I've got all the right trinkets on. Yep. Yep. Yes. I guess so. I should probably use these things. I never use them. I'm always carrying them around. It can make my life a lot easier. Oh, what the hell. If we get a chance to use one, we'll use one. Alright. So, actually, hold on. Let me think here. If this is going to get ugly, then I'm going to go ahead and set up for that. Eventuality? Yeah, I mean, let's face it, if you try to rob the safe, the guards are here for that reason, right? So my guess is we will be fighting them. I wonder, I wonder if like things go badly if I can go back down the sewer. You know what? I've never really tried that. I mean, in beta, I tried to get out of a combat, and you can't. That's like one of the. That's actually one of the few things that I don't like about the the way the combat. Well, there's a couple things I don't like about the way the combat works, but that's definitely one of them. That you can't like end combat like you could in uh, Fallout, as an example. I don't know why they didn't put that in. I don't know if that's tough to program or not, but you would think that that'd be kind of a kind of a no-brainer thing to put in there. All right, let's see. Uh, 
This is either going to be really good or really bad for us. I guess we'll find out. And that's if I don't fail. Please don't fail. Oh, didn't even get a chance to fail. Alright. Well, we do have initiative, so that's nice. This guy... Okay. Well, he's got a fire axe, huh? Alright. Smack him. Oh, he killed his own guy! <laughs> nice! Thanks, dude! Suck on Sledgehammer. Let's see. Let's move... Okay, it has a green circle around her, so I could kill the teller, but I don't I don't want to kill the teller. Yeah, we'll just kill the bank guards. We're criminals! We're bad, bad rangers. No, we're not bad rangers. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for the greater good, people. Just doing it for the greater good. I'm doing this, I'm robbing this bank because I care. <laughs> in a way, that's actually, a, in a way, that's actually a true statement. You know what? I keep forgetting she has shotgun skill. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Come out over here? Sure. Nice thing to put this cover for us to use. Uh-oh. Shotguns! Oh, I think that teller's gonna die. Not, not because of me! Not because... Well, technically it is because of me, right? Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? This is a good question. 100% here, huh? I can't go for a headshot. Well, maybe I can. No, I can't. Alright. There we go. Nice. And then... Can we whittle this one down? 98%. Good enough. Ow. Okay, let's try to get rid of this named one. <laughs> Purple goo! Alright. Now, let's swap here. Actually, no. Let's not swap. Let's just take two shots here. Yep, and here. Very nice. Wow, holy crap, that was good. Okay, then let's shoot this guy over here. Good. And 5 AP for the shotgun. Okay, so can't use that. We can finish him with Ralphie. Oh, <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Okay, and not going to do much damage, unfortunately, with this Neutron. Guess we could use the plasma beamer, but yeah, we'll move over here. But plasma beamer's not gonna do much. No. Uh, I need a heavy. I need a different heavy weapon, like quite badly. How bad am I hurt right now? Am I hurt a lot? Yeah, I kind of am. I think I'm just gonna move over here, actually. And... Run out here? Sure, that's a cover point. Uh, okay, come out here. Nuke him! Guy's yeah, pretty hard to hit. Well, then again, maybe not too hard to hit. Oh wow! Actually, I actually have to use a suture kit. Haven't had to use one of those in a while. You know what? Let's patch up tier two because you never know. Kind of fighting, fighting, fighting. You never know what kind of fighting we're gonna do. <laughs> 
Okay, switch weapons back. There we go. Alright, now we'll deal with the safe in a minute. Do we want to kill him? I guess not. He's not armed or whatever. We'll see. Let's grab this stuff. It's kind of a lot of just junk, really. Alright, let's break that down. Long barrel. Okay. Better than nothing. These guys have got some stuff on them. Let's grab that. Fire axe. Rusty nails. Some more junk. Okay, let's break that fire axe down. Grip tape, huh? Meh. Alright, well, let's go in here for what we came for. Oh, it's still locked. Right. <laughs> Oops. Shush! Shush! Okay, critical success. Good. Oh, hey! We can call in for promotion. Nice. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Echo 1. Congratulations, Echo 1. I mean, can we, like, improve any of those skills? I don't think he has enough points, does he? Oh, he does! Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let's put the perception one back on and then let's take a look at his skills. Okay, so lockpicking, safe cracking, demolitions. For demolitions, we do have this. I don't need any more... Pers I mean, having more perception is nice, but I don't have to have that right now. Again, because I have this. That I can use kind of situationally. So then the question becomes... Lockpicking or safe cracking? Uh, I don't know. Mm. That's a good question. Uh... I think I'm just gonna commit the points for right now and hold uh, just hold on a bit. Okay, let's go in here. Ninety-five percent chance to open this. Okay. Actually, I should probably put that trinket back on. Really? Wow. That's impressive. Okay, hold on. Let's put the. Where is it at? Yeah, put that trinket back on. Now, one of these should have the recipe in it that I can give the Dingler. If they're not hostile. Which I don't think they're going to be. What's this? I'll check that out in a second. Okay, 762, he'll take that. I can go down here. Oh. Do they all have codes? Oh, they do. Oh, okay. What was the code again? If I'm even right, I think I am. Let's see. 2369. Alright, let's try that. Open. No, no, not you. Get back there. Damn it. Okay. 2639. No. Okay. 2... Two, six, three, nine. Uh, two, six, three, nine. Okay. Two, six, three, nine. Huh. Two, three, six, nine have been folded over. Okay, well, maybe I put them in wrong? That doesn't matter. I can still uh, lockpick them, but I was convinced I had the right uh, passcode there. Okay, let's take that and this. Let's pick this one. Yeah, 100% chance, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Booze recipe. Yeah, so it should have been that one. Huh. Well, okay. No problem. Kind of lame the level or not of what's in here, though, so far. Oh, then again, I did get that book. What was that book? 
Plus one save cracking? Oh, hey. Okay, well, scratch that. That's pretty darn good piece of loot there. Okay, so now what do we have? A nine? A ten. Oh, right, when we're using the the deal here. But let's take that off. Put the perception one back on. Save cracking of nine. Yeah, so if I could get my lock picking up, I could just, like, not even use this thing anymore, only when I absolutely had to. Because I, I don't like the minus one coordination, and sometimes I forget to swap the trinkets back, so that's kind of problematic. I mean, I guess it's not really problematic. It's my problem, because I can't ever remember anything. <laughs> so it becomes problematic, is what I'm saying, people. Okay, let's grab that. And... Ammo. Let's see here. Technically, I probably shouldn't be taking this other stuff, right? I shouldn't be. It does make me kind of a bad man. I should only be taking that recipe, but... Hey. Rangers gotta eat too, right? Get away from me, you murderers. Okay, well, we're just going to run past you. I don't want to kill you. Okay, now, are the leather jerks flagged to me? That guard dog is, but no, it doesn't look like they are. Okay. Nah, because, like, this guy right here would be fighting me. All right, let's go back over towards Dangler then. And this will be the true test. If we come up here and these guards right here want to take us out, then we know we're in for problems. No. Okay. There's Beatrice's gold digging self. Okay, we got your stupid recipe. Yeah. Good, excellent. This will make everything much smoother going forward, and you can kill Chris Van Grass now if you like. He's no longer useful. Now you've proved yourself more than capable than my leather-brained fe uh, fellows or followers. Therefore, I have another assignment for you. This one much more important. Uh, I forget. Have you met uh, Beatrice's devil of a husband, Dante? Oh, here we go. All right. No matter. Uh, no matter. All you need to know is that. Though she married him for richer and poorer, he refuses to share his money with her, half of which is hers by right. Dante told her repeatedly that he has this great fortune hidden somewhere, but won't tell her where it is. I'd like you to right this wrong and convince Farmer Dante to share his secret by any means necessary. Now, are you ready to talk to Dante? Yeah, I'll go talk to Dante. Give him an offer he can't... <laughs> yeah, I, I'll go warn him is what I'm going to do. Where's Dante's? No, that's the distillery. Dante's is over... Here? Yep. Oh, we got another promotion. Not okay, good. Team Echo. Echo one. Congratulations, Echo. Okay. Run over here. Wow, level 37. That's pretty good. So I'm... Two levels because of the... Charisma thing, I'm two, two levels above. Yeah, everyone else. That's what it looks like. What should I put that in? I mean, I have a, a hard ass of eight, a kiss ass of eight. Smart ass skill is Joran's responsibility now. I, I think I'm going to grab another point of assault rifles, actually. Yep. I mean, being able to talk your way out of stuff is great when it works, but most of the time in this game, you just end up pew-pewing anyway. I mean, I can really see why, and you know that I've been resistant to this uh, this whole thing, but I can really see why people are more like, um, you know, build these just sort of combat monkeys with, you know, and min-max all the stats and everything, because the majority of how you resolve things is combat. I mean, there are some ways to, like I've done in this town, to to do more story-driven things, and I wanted to explore that in this playthrough. But let's face it, I could have just come in here and blown the leather jerks away. I think my group was strong enough from even when I first got here. 
All right, hey, Dante. All right, what can I do for you? All right, so we have... Dangler has Beatrice hostage, says he'll kill her. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Beatrice and Dingler have been plotting against you. Yes. Wait outside his window when we go back to tell him and you'll hear the proof. Yeah, let's, let's tell him about the plot. No, no, I can't believe it. Well, all right, strangers. I'll be there, but to hear you proved wrong. Oh, is that right? All right, let's go back. Now get out of here. What? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Betray me, strangers? Bad move. See what, you, see what you get when you mess with the Turks? Die, you gross old man, die. Virgil was right about you, Beatrice. Damn shame to ruin such a beautiful face, but... Oh! Go, Dante, you badass! He shot her! Alright! Good for him! Okay, who's the biggest threat here? Probably this dude over here with the shotgun, actually. And I want to kill Dangler, because he probably has... Does that work? Actually, the whole leadership thing? Do we, does anybody know if the NPCs actually have leadership skill? Because you would think this guy would, right? Yeah, which makes him a, you know, sort of a hard target. Somebody you'd want to go for. Okay, melee, melee, and... See, his stats are down, because we did that thing in the bar with him. That's why he's starting the fight at this point. And I'm, I'm convinced that this guy would have been the same way if we had given him some of that nasty water before we cured it. Mm -hmm. In the distillery. And this guy, I don't know how we would incapacitate him. I didn't figure that out. Alright, let's see. We can sidestep. There we go. Yeah, oh, oh, hitting the little green guy. No, no, not, no, hit, ow. Really? Willing to shoot your own guy? And you get three shots? Holy crap. Move and fire three times. That's a bit nasty. Okay. We need to move. Oh, I can't get a good shot here. Well, actually, I can. It's not exactly the way I wanted to do it. Can I hit just this guy? It looks like I can. Sure. Okay, let's do that. That wasn't bad. 50 damage. Okay, swap weapons. I might as well move. Yeah, let's move. Let's come up here. Shoot this guy. There we go. And then let's smack him a couple times. Yeah, 125. Nice. And finish him? Well, almost. Ow, I'm getting beat up over here. Alright, let's uh, finish you. There we go. And then move. Yep, might as well grab some cover. Okay, I need to move. Uh, how about here? Only 44% chance to hit him. All right, let's go with let's go for Pat the Axe then. It's Frank the Tank's cousin. Oh, you better know who Frank the Tank is. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Go, Dante, go! Okay, you weren't very much help, Dante. Okay, single shot on this guy. Yep. Or maybe I should have done a burst. Didn't think that was going to be necessary, but alright. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Well, I guess let's take you out. Yep. These guys aren't that hard, actually. But then again, I did a lot of different things before... before fighting these guys, so... 
My group was pretty strong going into this fight, I think. Man, look at LGG tanking that. Good job, buddy. How much experience was that? Like 1,300? Nice. We didn't even get hurt that bad. That was pretty good. Yeah. It certainly was. Okay, let's swap. Do you need to reload? The other weapon? No. And we should be able to get free healing. Here, let's talk to Dante. All right, strangers, you convinced me. Beatrice is only after my money. Good riddance to both of them. Here's the hymen hot potato like I promised you. Okay, so now we have this... Where's this hot potato? Powerful explosive. All right, we'll hold on to that. Let's call in for this promotion. Copy, team Echo. Echo one. Congratulations, Echo One. Well, thanks. And skill points. Yeah, ten energy weapons, right? Okay, good. All right. Well, when we come back in the next one, we'll, I guess, go talk to Virgil. We'll go talk to and try to free the mayor. Um, I don't know what we'll do with his son, Chris. I guess it'll depend on what the mayor wants. I guess we'll talk to him and tell him that he was trying to kill him. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Um, and then we'll just sort of wrap up here in Rhodia and then head back out into the waste to see what kind of trouble we can get into. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.